Hello and welcome, my name is Parkin. and today I'm playing a game of dwarves. It's been quite a while since I made a video, I do apologise. Um, again, I'm just very busy at the moment with university stuff. But that doesn't matter because I'm starting this new series of a Game of Dwarves. Which is a game that I've been following for quite a while and I've just wanted to play it, basically. And now it's on Steam and everything's good, so why not play it? Now I know a few people have probably done this before me on YouTube. It's inevitable, really. However, I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, I've never played it before, so don't expect, like, a tutorial. You're just going to probably run through it with me, because I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, we're going to start a new campaign. Uh, Prince name. Okay. Uh, well, obviously Prince Parky sounds like a good idea. Let's do this. I noticed a lot of very uh, crestness looking dwarf people there, a long, so long time sets the tone. In a gap. <clears throat> ah, no, wait. Somewhere around here, I mean. In this very mountain, the first dwarves entered this world. The dwarves had unlimited ambition and the talent for whatever they set their minds to. They dug through mountains, built wondrous artifacts and structures, and had a courage of steel to face the fiercest of monsters. And win. Why was the Eiffel Tower there? What the f oh. On their way to glory, they encountered other races, such as the nimble elves and the mighty dragons. <laughs> With their help, soon the dwarves had spread far from their homeland and created a vast kingdom. But that was a long time ago, and I was merely ancient back then. In the end, it was due to change. They came from the unknown regions of the north. Mages. Mages. <laughs> the dwarves had never seen anything like them. They wielded powerful energies called magic and brought with them. Jesus Christ, I've never heard of magic before. The very world itself. Even so, the dwarves offered their hand in friendship. But the mages had no such intentions. They struck out against the dwarves, and soon the great dark magic war had begun. Dirty bastards. The dragons flew to help the dwarves, but the mages were so powerful that they managed to strike the dragons down from the sky, destroying them. The elves fled the lands to let the dwarves fight for themselves. The noble dwarves fought long and hard for their survival against the ruthless mages and the terrible destruction they brought in their wake. With no one to help, the dwarves Dad. were pushed back. Dad! Dad, you told this story dozens of times already. It's not real. There are no mages or dragons, and we don't even have a great kingdom laying around. This is boring to listen to again. I don't know. Why does this son sound Swedish? <laughs> but soon. And he's the Scottish. Will rise again. God, this game's so logical. And they will build a civilization worthy of their stolen glory. <laughs> I, I just noticed the Dad, paper clips. Are you talking to yourself again? No. Epic. Okay, so from pretty much what I gather from that is that this game is going to be fairly uh, random, possibly, at most of the points, because that was all a load of waffle. But it's kind of cool. Oh Christ, here we go. Right, now I'm assuming that this is going to be one of these games such as towns where you just tell everyone what to do. I haven't really looked into this too much, so it's all going to be a fair surprise to me. I'm the prince, and you will hear me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, when kings speak, you listen. <laughs> you got a lovely eye patch, dear. <laughs> okay, and sometimes you talk and sometimes you don't. Although your mouth flaps are gabbing on. Dwarves of all listen better than you. But no more. Okay. 
May only return home to Hemfort when you have proven yourself to be my heir and a true prince of dwarfs. Now go. Okay. Right. So I'm assuming this is just like a bit of backstory to get us into the game. Explain why we're actually like going. Like to do these things. Hear me out. Greetings, dwarves. Welcome to Van Hla Van Vanaheim. There, there. I am the Prince of Dwarven People, the uh, Yeah, alright. The King Father has encouraged me to be more responsible and take my duties more seriously, so from here on out I'll head of my own clan. However, we would not be considered a true clan until we complete something called the Trial. We should look into the lessons King Father's prepared for us in order to learn how to control everything. Just click on the lessons buttons in the lower part of the screen. Right. So you wish to learn more about... Uh, for, oh, bloody hell. I hope there isn't going to be too much reading in this. Oh, hang on. He's saying something now. Besides that, there's two places we can go. Back, backyard, where we can train on how to... Uh, blur, and the trial, where we would test our metal. Right. I would recommend that we first take... King Father's lessons and try everything else in the backyard, then we can finally show what we made. Okay. So this is the... This one here? The backyard. Okay, tutorial step by step. Okay, this is what we need. I'm not going to read all this crap. I just want a tutorial and then we can get into it. Right. <laughs> Durgan. Well, okay. We're just all going to drink. Okay. So where many Dwarven clan leaders practice their skills before trying to undertake the trial. It's a perfect spot to train the very basics of how to rule and control your own settlement. If we haven't already, then we should really look at the King Father's lessons in the world map. There he explains everything worth knowing about how to control everything. But for now, we should focus on training. Let's do this with a blah. Oh, oh Christ. Okay. There. Yeah. Perfect. Main quest. How to dig. We need so oh, fucking hell. Right, we need to fight... Uh, must be something over uh, if we, we should look through... Uh, so we need to dig into here, basically. So if we... I'm assuming we just click... Yeah, alright, we know how to bloody click around. Okay, zoom in and out. Yeah, Q, E. Perfect. The underground's... Uh, yeah, slide the bottom right. So this goes up levels and down levels. Okay, I get it. Use the R and F keys. Jesus Christ. What the hell is this? Research. <sighs> Jesus. I'm feeling extremely out of my depth at this point. <laughs> Durgan is just chilling. Alright. What? Let's see what I have here in my throne room. A throne sp sp spawning pool and one digger dwarf. Really? Only one dwarf? Oh. Okay. We should try selecting a block by clicking on it. Uh, okay, black void that consists of blocks. Of, yes, okay, just be. F oh, uh, There's so much information going into my brain at the moment. <laughs> it's not really going into my brain, though, that's a bad thing. Okay, this means that we need to find another. Okay, perfect. Right, so. Dig. We want you to dig into this patch of shit over here. Okay, is he gonna do that now? Cool. Level 1 digger. Diggers strike the earth and exploit its resources. Right, of course you do. So we've got a pretty shitty throne room. Oh right, okay, there's just a massive tunnel here. <laughs> of course! <laughs> right, we seem to have found a big empty room. That was, um, that was lucky and unexpected. What is that over there? Shit, it looks like gold. Okay, let's go do that then. Dig that out, bitch. Perfect. I don't want to know what juicy things we can find. Okay, Durgan, go do your job, babe. <laughs> right, okay. Beardless... Beardless Ten Parky. What the fuck does that mean? Okay, keep going, Durgan. You're doing a good job. So, I'm assuming that as this guy digs, his health has gone up now because he's level 2 digger. Look at this big room. It must be on the older parts of the Hemfort. Do you see those dark coloured blocks? Do not dig those. If you do, we cannot continue. Let's dis disable the dig order temporarily. Okay. Probably need a bed. Right. We need a bed. Why is this flashing? Right. Bed. The fuck is this? Build. Um... 
Okay, a bit of explanation at this point would be good. Um... Okay... The door thing... Dwarf, man, uh, unfortunately, I'm bigger to, uh, to, we need a new dwarf, a new dwarf, okay. So we need to get a new dwarf. God, this is... Alright, click on the bottom right thing, the hem fort. From there you'll be able to order dwarflings. Order one dwarfling. Right, spawn... Oh, I see, okay, there's a... Jesus Christ, okay. I've got it, everyone. It's fine. <laughs> this is not going well. This is the first episode and I'm not... I'm so not used to doing videos again, so you'll have to bear with me. This series will get a lot better. I am planning on doing a proper series of this. What we need is to get a dwarfling. Yes, we've done that already. When they get enough experience, they turn into a dwarf. We need open up the hem for. Really bloody done that. Oh, okay, this is the progress bar. God, it would have helped if he told us that a minute ago. Spawning cause connection to the hem fort. Blah blah blah. Now we have a dwarf. Oh, we can give him a profession. Yay! How exciting! Right, this. <laughs> okay, this on the craft. Uh, okay, so we need to. Um. Geo burn. Okay, so we need to give him a crafting thing. Perfect. Finally, a dwarf that would be able to do some good. Oh, don't be nice. Um, don't be like that. Durgin's gonna feel all bad. Uh, we have to get him some work and build some useful things for us. Click on that build button, now search for a buildable bed. Okay, get the point, yeah. Okay, we can sell order, uh, yeah. I'm probably going to regret that, aren't I? Okay, so... Build. Bed. We're going to build a bed. I suppose we can make this like a bedroom in here. Doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, crap. Hang on. How do we rotate? Um... Maybe, like, possibly the worst bed ever. The pillow is a stone. Gives bad sleep. Well, that sounds absolutely wonderful. Uh, well, we've got a couple of dwarfs. Actually, we probably need one for the king as well. So we'll put... Oh! Oh, shit. Okay, hang on. Let's, um... How do I cancel the order for something? Okay, well, you know what, let's just let's carry on. So, Ge <laughs> Geo Burner is just going to magic these beds out of thin air. And it's and actually, should we give Durgan something else to do? There's some gold here that I've noticed, so we might as well... Can we get him to dig it out? Oh, no, he's having a... Okay. So we need food, so we can't... Uh, there's several things we need to do in order to get food, but first we should have somewhere for the dwarves to eat. Let's open up the build menu and build a table. Oh, I see what they're doing, okay. <laughs> Right, so we can have, like, our food table down here. I mean, why not? I don't know exactly know why... Oh, no, he is doing it. I was going to say, I don't exactly know why Geo Brin isn't making these other things, but... <laughs> I love that as a description. Probably the worst bed ever. Doesn't surprise me, it looks awful. Right. So this is cell object, cell order... Oh, I see, okay. Well, let's, let's sell this one just because it's bugging me and we'll, we'll just have two beds. Now we have a table that dwarfs can eat from. <laughs> just, again, crafting like this table with like a whole turkey on it out of thin air. When they're hungry, we'll go to the closest table to eat, so we should always be sure to have enough food in storage. With no food, the dwarfs will starve, God damn it! Okay, now we have a bed to sleep and a table to eat at, we could use some food. Let's look at the dwarf. Dark colored blocks in the middle of this room. Oh, I see, are these like the cultivation? Yep, fertile soil. Right, okay, which provides energy. Right. So we need to provide energy, energy for the plants to actually grow. Fertilization stone for that, okay. Fertilization stone. Right, build menu, fertilization stone. Which is probably going to be under here, yes? Yes, okay. So we need to actually put this on. The hell was that bang? Jesus Christ. Um, okay, so we'll put that like there. I don't really think it matters. So this fertilization stone should allow us to plant gro drops. <laughs> plant drops, as you do. Right, what is this? Move order. Oh, okay, so you can actually move objects. Oh, I see. Okay, this is quite good. Perfect. 
Right, so once he's done this, Geobrin. Perfect. So we now have felt our soil. So this magical stone, I mean, it just solves all their issues, doesn't it? <sighs> okay, so you see that green area around the, yes, its range. Crops can grow within that range, okay. When the crop is close enough to stone, food will begin to grow. Okay, I can't actually see this. What's this thing? Oh, I see, okay. Hello, okay. What the fuck is this? Okay, well, let's not question that. Let's get some food down. Food crops. Well... Can finally eat, but for some reason we need... For s <laughs> Great, okay, don't explain that. For some reason we need a new dwarfling. Jesus, okay. Uh, it, we need a worker this time, so we need uh, someone to work with the planted crops. So, okay, okay, I've got the order. So get a dwarfling. Good. Assuming at this point that we only need one crop on order. Uh, why is nothing happening? Okay, it's because it was on pause. That's fine. Okay. So what happens to all this, like, gold that we dug out? I mean, is is Durgin just hanging on to it? God knows. Yay! Okay, right, let's turn him to a worker. Yep, okay, we got this last time. I'm not an idiot. Right. Cold... Cold... Br brun. Cold brun worker. Oh, I see it just goes into like the, our materials, of course, okay. Oh, I see, okay, so I've already done this, so we want to assign just one worker to this. So that's cold burn. I see, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Okay, but for now, I think that's a good place to stop the first episode. I know I've been a bit all over the place, I am a bit out of practice, but if you've enjoyed it, I'm going to be doing more of this series. Tell me if you've enjoyed it, because I actually am quite enjoying this. The style of this game is good. I like it. So leave your support. If you enjoyed the episode, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or favourite, or even subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Awkward. Awkward goodbye. Awkward.